In my last video, this happened to me on Koopa Cape. What, 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 what the, okay. In case you missed it, here it is again slower. I pressed R here, but look at how long it was before my drift came out. Then I restarted my drift because I thought I failed it. This is exactly why you should not pick the cushion tires, monster tires, or hot monster tires in Mario Kart. You see this bouncy effect on the tires? Yeah, that's not just visual. When you land from a jump, these tires actually get airtime. And here's the proof. I started a drift without hopping, because I pressed R during the bounce. But if I time it slightly differently, I go way into the air. And randomly losing contact with the ground means that these are the only tires that can have bad traction on regular roads. Even though they have the highest traction stats in the game. Thanks, Nintendo.